Alright, so in this video, I'm going to explain why console gaming is far superior to PC gaming, unlike what this so-called PC master race believes. The main topic when it comes to console versus PC is graphics and frame rate, so let me show you a gameplay comparison. Here's GTA 5 on the PC. Looks like absolute garbage. The graphics look previous gen, and it's running at over 130 frames per second, which is a complete waste of resources, because as many of you may know, the human eye can only see 13 frames per second. But take a look at this GTA 5 gameplay on the PS4 Pro. Stunning graphics, and the frame rate is extremely smooth and very easy on the eyes. Just look at this clip where I'm flying over Los Santos. Beautiful. Let's have a side-by-side -side of this image in real life. You can't even tell the difference. I honestly don't understand where PC gamers get the idea that their gaming platform is even the slightest bit better in this regard. When it comes to hardware, consoles are and always will be superior to the PC. Now let's talk about exclusives. I know PC has an exclusive many PC gamers are excited for, which is titled Star Citizen, a game where you can explore all throughout a galaxy in your own spaceship, battle on foot in space stations, and go on adventures in the persistent universe. Sounds fucking boring, right? PS4 has The Last of Us Part 2 on the way. You see, I'm a big YouTuber, and us big YouTubers get games early. Naughty Dog actually decided to give me an early copy of the game, and I just got the green light to show it to you guys. So here it is, The Last of Us Part 2. Spoiler alert, look, there's Joel, there's Ellie, oh no, Ellie got taken away by Satan. Look at this magnificent piece of gaming evolution. Ah, zombie, no. Those graphics, mwah. Beautiful. The AI is fantastic. The PC won't be able to reach this technological landmark in gaming evolution for at least another 12 years. PCs wish they could look this good. PCs wish they could have next-gen gameplay like this. Many PC gamers use the argument that they don't have to pay for online, and the hardware is cheaper. This argument makes no sense to me. Now I love Sony, and Sony loves me. The way I show my affection is by giving them my money. I don't want cheaper games and hardware, I only want to support my beloved Sony. For a PS4 game, I would pay 100. No, 1000. No, I would give them my firstborn, just to show them how much their service means to me. Consoles also have split screen. Just imagine how fun it must be to sit in the same room with all your buddies and enjoy a game together. Unfortunately, I too have to imagine this because I don't have any friends. Except for Sony, the one and only true friend I need. And mods? Pfft. Every game that is released on the PS4 is perfect. And if it's not perfect, they have DLC which will make it perfect. As I said before, I want to support the developers. I don't want to get free shit. I'm a console gamer. I don't need handouts. But what about unofficial patches? Did you not hear me say games on console are perfect? They don't need fixes. You need a fix. You need to fix your gaming platform preference. Correct yourself, for the path you are going down is a dark and frightening one. Now let's say you have no choice but to play on a computer. Let's say there is no way you would ever play on a console. Then I only have one solution for you. A Mac. In regards to PCs, this is the closest you'll get to a console. With its slick design, all the bitches will love you. Not to mention, they're very underpriced for the hardware you'll get. The OS X operating system is far more convenient than Windows. It will allow you to do more things. So in conclusion, get yourself a console or get a Mac. Console for life. No sex till marriage. Don't do drugs. Don't drink alcohol. Who's with me?